what's going on everybody welcome back to the third episode of black faces creative spaces in today's episode we are going to be discussing eve kamara who is the senior fashion editor at large for id magazine but before we get into it we are going to do our quote so let's go today's quote is we have to talk about liberating minds as well as liberating society by angela davis so for those of you who don't know who Eve Kamara is, he is the senior fashion editor at large for ID Magazine. He has been in that position since 2018. Kamara's journey in fashion began at the age of 16 when his family moved him to London for school so that he could study science. He really didn't like school. He wasn't really enjoying it. So he asked his family if he could take a year off in which they agreed. And that is when he went to work for a magazine company, work with the magazine magazine company. It was a really small company called Live Magazine and that is where he had his first fashion shoot and that is where he really discovered that fashion is what he wanted to do and he wanted to do something more creative. So he told his family about it. He was really afraid. He said it was harder than him coming out to his family because African parents are so strict when it comes to education and learning and creativity is more of like like a voodoo like it's something that you you don't do so he ended up telling his family and he decided to really pursue the career he ended up enrolling in westminster kingsway college for an art and design course and was later accepted at central st martin's for a fashion communication and promotion course and during his time at central st martin's he actually interned for barry command who was a part of the 80s buffalo scene as well as a stylist at his journey at central st martin's he had a final project called 2026 which was shown at the somerset house in 2016. from the photos you guys can see that this was a very significant project it kind of showed how you can dress clothes to represent an identity which is basically what this project was meant to portray jamie morgan who is a buffalo boy as well as a british photographer actually connected eve with robbie spencer who is the creative director of days magazine and that is when eve was able to get his first fashion editorial in 2018 he went on to work for ID magazine as the fashion editor at large and a year later he became the senior fashion editor at large for ID. Before he worked on his first editorial he had worked on his first commercial shoot and it ended up leaving him completely broke. He had no money left because he had moved to Paris he bought an apartment and he also had to get all of the garments for the shoots. He even talks about how he would go months without seeing his friends due to the fact that he had to pay the people that he was working with on the shoots and just make sure that he had enough for the shoot. And he even says that he now has back problems due to all of the heavy lifting that he was doing. But he said that he would just work hard and that is what really helped him get to where he is now. Being a gay boy growing up in Sierra Leone, he was able to use his experiences to really get his his shoots to evoke emotions. He's able to create these stories with photos and with clothes. They're the way that they're styled. He's able to portray that within his styling, which is why it's so significant. And Eve says that anyone can put clothes together. I want to style with a vision, which is why I think he's such a significant stylist because he's not just throwing clothes on and not having any meanings behind it. Every shoot that he styles has a meaning and it has a story behind it and that is what separates him from other stylists who are just out and about so i think it's super important that you guys understand that when you're working on a job you're doing extra research so that it's more significant it's very nice to create clothes or to style clothes or to be a photographer but it's also very important for you to create a story so that people have an experience because when you look at a photo it's basically like an experience that you're having so you want to make sure it's powerful enough that it's going to stop people and they want to look more into it and they want to know more about the story that's going on behind the photo this is basically the story of eve kamara i'll make sure to leave links below down to some interviews that i read up on him and that i watch so that you guys can check it out as well now we're going to move on to our buy black section of the week so the first brand in the buy black segment this week is local european if you guys haven't heard of local european it's a sustainable black owned brand specializing in basics all of their pieces are made of dead stock fabrics which reduces textile waste 
saves energy and lowers the carbon footprint. They normally produce in smaller quantities and they do not restock, unfortunately. But you guys should definitely make sure to check them out. They have some really nice basics and I will make sure to have the link down below. The second brand that I want to discuss today is Small Needs. Small Needs is a brand that was founded by Fatima Akil. It is a one-stop shop for amazing vintage finds, including earrings, shoes, and garments. This brand was founded by Fatima and her Instagram is at Small needs but she also has an Etsy account which is Retro Rhapsody so that will also be included for you guys to check out and the third brand of the week is Salome Monet I just recently discovered this brand I know that Beyonce has worn this brand before and it was founded by Salome Monet and the brand specializes in nude heels for black women they only have two styles the first style is the sable heel it's a four inch heel made of of satin and the price point is $2.95 and the second heel are the Joan heels which are $305 and it is a two inch heel. You guys should make sure to check them out. They're very nice heels. Like I said, Beyonce was in them, so that's all you really need to know. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.